Okay, here's a video showing the charging system I put together for the uh, Lossy Micro T cars. Uh, when you purchase this, it doesn't come with a wall charger. It comes with um, these battery chargers. It has eight double A's they require. Um, they did not give you like an adapter to put in a charger. They want you to purchase their separate charging um, system, which I thought was kind of strange. So, um, I don't like using batteries. I go through them all the time. And I happen to have a spare computer power supply. Which this one here is just a standard ATX power supply. This one's a 400 watt, I guess. That's just what I had spare around the house. So what I did was took the power leads off of here and I removed the 12 volt power from the normal, this is the floppy lead normally. I just removed the pins out, the yellow and black. And then you can wedge the black wire behind the negative. Then you can wedge the yellow wire behind the positive. And how this works is normally when you take all these double A's, they go through this loop like this to make 12 volts. Right here would be your negative and your positive. I'll do the same thing with another charger. Again, I just I used the floppy in because the connector was the smallest. And you can just wedge that floppy between the, the negative and the positive. And that makes your 12 volts just bypassing the need. You could make this uh, fancier. I've actually seen people who've actually built a, a, a slot for an adapter, but this is what I had laying around. So I'll just, I'll just plug it in, turn the power supply on. Okay, now I just plugged in both of the cars. See the LEDs are turned on and they're both charging. Another tip for you, these cars we had sitting in the basement for about four months and the battery was totally depleted. Now when it's like that, the charger won't recognize that you have a car there. So what you have to do is Get yourself a cable, just uh, this is old speaker wire, and take one end of it, and hold it to the positive lead over here, then take the end that has a paper clip on it and just touch that to the exposed red positive pin just for a second. And when you do that, yeah, it'll fool the it'll fool the charger a little bit, and it'll, the red will come on, and it'll start charging. We had to do that for both cars. So just again, just take that other end of this, put it on the positive lead, take it into your paper clip, and just touch that to this positive lead right here. Just just half a second. As soon as the LED pops on, just take it off. And that's uh, like jump starting the car from a dead battery, like you, I would say. So, <clears throat> I think this charges pretty good. It charges quickly. When you're all done charging, turn off your power supply. Don't leave it with uh, no load on the power supply. That'll probably wreck it. So, I hope that's helpful. Um, it's easy. It's cheap. If you have an old computer in your house, no tower. Take the power supply out, just unscrews, and you can rig up something like this. 
you might want to fancy it up, tape these down, or build it more secure. Maybe, maybe build yourself a dedicated charging area. But uh, this works for me. Saves on money. Okay. Bye.